Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Sometimes you will need to send a person a file that isn't a message. Anytime that you want to send a person an electronic copy of a file, you send it as an attachment. For example, if you had to send a copy of your budget to your manager, you could simply insert a copy of the workbook into the message as an attachment. Assuming that the manager also had the software necessary to read your spreadsheet file, they would then receive the file and open it to view the information that you sent. A unique feature of the Outlook web app allows you to attach a link to a file saved in your OneDrive cloud storage account. This will allow the recipient to access your file on the cloud server without having to first download the file. This option saves space in the email message and does not require the recipient to have the program to interact with the file on their personal computer. This also allows multiple people to work on the same file in real time. To attach a file from your OneDrive storage account to an email message, click New to create a new email message or click the Drafts folder to open an email message you were previously creating. At the top of the message pane, click Attach to open the File Attachments pane. The contents of your OneDrive will be listed and any folders you created to store files in will be included with the default Recent my files and shared with me. If you are a member of any groups, the files that are shared will be listed under groups and will act the same as an attachment from a OneDrive file. Click the folder that contains the file you want to attach as a link to your email message. When the name of the file is displayed on the pane in the right of the screen, check the checkbox next to the file and click Next at the bottom of the pane. You will be given the choice to share with OneDrive or send as an attachment. Choose Share with OneDrive to continue the process. This option will create a link to the file saved on your OneDrive cloud storage account. This will allow the recipient to view and edit the file without having to download it. This again saves space on your email and allows changes to be made to the file without having to pass it back and forth. Anyone who receives a link to a OneDrive file can access, view, and possibly make changes to the file depending on the settings you choose. This is an extremely helpful option when you have multiple email recipients that need to work on the same file. After being returned to the email message, the link will display in a small box below the subject line. Clicking the X will remove the file from the email message. Clicking the downward facing arrow in the attachment box will open up options for your attached link. If you would like to change permissions on how recipients act with the file you're linking to. Click Change Permissions to open a small pane that will allow you to choose whether the recipients can edit or can only view the file. Can edit means that they will be able to work with and apply changes to the file. Can view will only allow them to view the file and they will not be able to make any changes. To set your permissions to all files attached, check the Apply to All Attached Files box. When you're finished making the permission changes, click OK to save any changes that you made. The final two options in the downward facing arrow link are View and Open a New Tab. Clicking View will open the file in the currently opened window and open a new tab will open and display the file in a new tab of your browser window. 
assuming you have the correct programs on your 365 subscription. Click X to close the viewed file and your link is attached to your email. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.